playing only the root note of each chord in your bass does not make a bass line. <laughs> so in this video, you'll learn how to turn those bland root notes into pumping bass lines. <laughs> <laughs> Put the kettle on, we'll meet you back in the studio. <laughs> This is Ray Harmony, and welcome to the Hug Music Theory Show. Where you are empowered with notation-free theory for making great music! Alright, let's get you orientated. So what you see on your screen right now is the vocal melody at the top. Yeah, and that's muted, that's just there for reference. And below that is what will become our bass line. Yeah, and currently that's just a root note template showing us where the chords change. Yeah, and this is the chorus of our upcoming single, Down With The Drama, featuring the amazing Sarah Serene on vocals. We're in the key of F sharp minor, aka F sharp Aeolian, and the chords are F sharp minor, A major, E major, B minor, D major, and A major. Alright, and just a quick heads up, the hacks that you are about to witness are at an intermediate level. So if you're a beginner, no problem. Just read our free book, 12 Music Theory Hacks on the Scales and Chords. You can download it at revolutionharmony.com. Alright, let's jump in. The first two. Hack one, go the wrong way. <laughs> to make your bass lines more melodic and therefore more memorable, simply start by adding a short note in between some root notes. This creates a flowing contour to your bass line while also adding excitement to the rhythm department. So the easiest way to add a short note in between some of your root notes is to just cut an eighth or a sixteenth off the end of some of them. So we decided to do that uh, for this note here, here, and here. So we're just going to cut an eighth off this one, and that one, and that one. So now we've got these three short notes over here. And now we can just move them up or down to different notes in the scale. So we're going to take this guy down to here, this guy down to here, and this one. This is where we're going to use our wrong way hack. So when you're using a short note like that to create a more flowing contour between two notes, the tendency is to put that short note on a pitch somewhere between those two root notes. And that's great, we've done it here and we've done it here. It works really well. However, doing that all the time can be predictable. So it's really fun to change it up and go the wrong way sometimes. Do it just once, somewhere in your bass line. And that's what we did over here. So you can see we're on a low note and we're going to a high note. So instead of using a pitch somewhere in between, we're going the wrong way first. So we're going down. We're on a low note, we're going even lower before we then go up. So the listener's expecting this to keep going down and then suddenly whoop, it's all hit up. It sounds awesome, check this out. Hack two, go outside. <laughs> now that your bass line is flowing, it's time to get dangerous. So try moving one of your short notes to a note that is not in the scale. Yep, we're going off-roading. Notes outside the scale are called non-diatonic notes, and used in the right place, they're a game changer. Yeah, so after using that first hack, we noticed that we have this awesome motif now of going from a longer note down a semitone to a short note. We have it there, we have it there, and we so nearly have it here, but that's two semitones. Which gave us the idea, well hey, let's just take that D and push it outside of the scale to a D sharp. It sounds amazing. But the reason it sounds amazing is because at that precise moment in the music, nothing else is playing D. For example, if we had an, another synth playing that D while the bass is playing D sharp, oh, it's gonna be the most horrific clash. So that's just a little warning. When you're using notes outside of the scale, make sure there's no clashing. And by the way, if you want a proper in-depth lesson on how to write a bass line, then watch our recommended video. It's coming up right after the final playthrough. And if you like our hacks, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications. <laughs> Thanks for watching.